You're coming back to 923. Do you know that this Sunday marks the 59th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act? Of course, that made it illegal to discriminate against people trying to vote. Was the United Methodist Church commemorating that occasion with a social justice Sunday event? So there, they're offering free information on registering how to vote, how to mm -hmm. get to your polling place, how to find out all of that and more. In fact, here to tell us about that this morning is Reverend Dr. J.C. Richardson. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for being here, uh, for allowing me to be here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm honored to kind of talk about these matters. Well, it's all about informing the people. And You're when different. it comes to that, Sunday is all about informing the people. You're definitely right about that. On this particular uh, Sunday, Sunday coming up at 10 o'clock, just like you mentioned, at Wesley United Methodist Church, where your next door neighbors. <laughs> right. uh, we will be uh, kind of providing a one-stop shop where you can also celebrate and commemorate, uh, but also continue uh, what the 1965 Voting Rights Act had to basically embody. And we're going to be, as you stated, uh, having persons not only come in, celebrate, kind of have a little bit of party with a purpose, mm. uh, and the party will be happening in the worship service, but also after that we'll have people on on the ground to try to register people if they need a transportation, etc. We'll be sharing information that people need. You think that people may need, may know this information, but they really don't, and you really have to repeat that. Also, we'll be bringing a little bit of awareness of some of the ways in which, perhaps detrimentally, the laws that were passed in August that have to deal with voting can detrimentally affect those that are in nursing homes. As you all well know, this law kind of makes it possible for persons to register and vote vote absentee. However, uh, the it's a one-to-one -one relation. You can only register one person. You can only witness one absentee. Uh, so I think that that is also something that we'll be talking about. How can we kind of ensure that persons in nursing homes, uh, because if you have 20 people in a nursing home and you only have five people on staff, there was a time where one person can witness all of those uh, absentee, absentee balance. Uh -huh. That's no more. Mm -hmm. So we have to increase the volunteers that may be able to partner with these nursing homes to make sure that persons can vote with their absentee and, and, and we're able to uh, submit those. And everybody can be, as I like to say, a citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we're trying to do, to make sure that we're laying the groundwork through this particular, uh, through this particular uh, event, yeah. lay the groundwork for informed citizenry. We like to say at Wesley United Methodist Church, we don't want to be a church only in the community. We want to be a church oh, of the community. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to do. You mentioned being uh, informed. Uh, I think a lot of folks, we were just talking about it, a lot of folks, I've made my decision. I know right. what I want to exactly. do. I don't know how exactly. to do it. Exactly. That's exactly what this is. You guys have done this before. It's been successful before. Yes. You're anticipating that again. Yeah, and, and we really are. <laughs> now, uh, last time, it was a different celebration, the March on Washington. This is a True. sort of a, a commemoration of the 19th 1965 Voting Rights mm -hmm. Act, and to your point, we live in a, a world where everybody is vying for everybody else's attention. Right. You got attention on the phone, you got attention mm -hmm. on the website, you got attention on your television, and these particular type of community events and community gathering allow persons to focus on things to realize, yes, you do need a voting plan. If you need transportation, by all means, this provides an opportunity, this particular event provides an opportunity for you to sign up and get that transportation, because it can be... Uh, contrary to popular opinion, it can be a very stressful situation. Sure. Right. And, and it's not necessarily because you're immoral. No, you kind of have to have a lift of morale. And sometimes your morale can fall kind of low if you don't have transportation to the polls. Very yeah. true. And yeah. how do you make it to the poll? Remind folks again yeah. the address of the church. The address of the church is 544 Government Street, mm -hmm. right down the way right down here the way. From, uh, from where you all guys are. It's at 10, uh, 10 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're calling it Souls to the Polls. How Absolutely. about it? Easy Get enough. out there. Find all, all the information you need. Make your decision and then find out a way to make that decision become a reality. Get exactly. out there and do it. Exactly. Good to see you this morning. Appreciate your time Glad with to us. Be with you. That's Thank it. Thank you so much. We'll see you after the break.